Hi, sixth grade, we miss you and we can't wait to see you on the 17th. Today we're gonna to talk about transubstantiation. So it's a very long word, that means change the substance. So that literally means change the substance. We are taking the bread and wine that is offered in the offertory um, when you guys bring up the gifts at mass or whoever does, and we take that bread and wine and the priest through the act of consecration makes it actually into the body and blood of Jesus. So right here, the bread and wine become the body and blood of Jesus. Now, what that means is it still looks like bread and wine, but the substance, what makes it it, becomes the body and blood of Jesus. It is Jesus's presence in the Eucharist, okay? It's not a symbol, it's not a sign. Catholics believe it actually is Jesus. So he's working through the Holy Spirit and through the priest, through the act of consecration, and it actually becomes Jesus. In John chapter 6, verses 53 to 30, 57, Jesus talks about, I am the bread of life. I know you guys have heard that before. We've read it in class. And he said, whoever eats of me will live forever. Now, this is probably kind of a strange thing to people that don't understand it. They're like, what are you guys, cannibals or what? No, we believe it is still bread and wine, but it becomes the body and blood of Jesus. And that's what this chart is all about. So before consecration, the appearance of the gifts of the sacrifice that we're offering God, bread and wine, it looks like bread and wine, it is bread and wine. After consecration, when Father um, says all the prayers and makes the sign of the cross over the bread and wine, it still, the appearance is still bread and wine. It looks like bread and wine, but it actually, the substance, what makes it it, is Jesus' body and Jesus' blood. It's a very hard concept. It's very hard to understand but we believe it through faith. So that is transubstantiation. We'll talk about it more when we get back. But I want you guys to get some notes and kind of understand about what we believe as Catholics. Have a good day, and we will see you guys on the 17th.